Even though it was a surprise engagement, I'm so happy that I wore all white because I felt like a sparkling bride. Hi, I'm Paris Hilton, and today I'm showing my closet to Elle. But before we start, make sure to check out my new show, Cooking with Paris, streaming now on Netflix. For my biggest splurge, this is a custom-made Birkin bag. I love Hermes, and I love this bag. If I was a bag, this would be me. It's covered in over 60,000 Swarovski crystals. I can't remember how much it costs. This, I love this dress. This is Michelle Torres, and I wore this in my Cooking with Paris show. This was in the episode with Demi Lovato, and we were making heart-shaped red ravioli. If you guys watching at home, we did this wrong, so do it the opposite way for this part. I like to dress on themes, and this is just the cutest dress to cook in. I love it so much. I love this outfit. This is a custom outfit that I designed and had made. I just wore it a couple weeks ago in Las Vegas. I was DJing the opening of Resorts World, this new hotel, and I wanted to do an ode to Britney from her toxic music video. She was dressed as that hot flight attendant in that turquoise outfit. And I just thought that this was like a more modern take on it and an ode to our queen. Oh, I love this dress. This is by Jack Irving. This is actually how I designed my car, my Slivmobile, which is my BMW that is holographic. It's exactly this color. And I wore this dress in my documentary, This Is Paris, when I was performing at Tomorrowland in front of hundreds of thousands of people. It was amazing just being on stage. This dress was like reflecting with all the laser lights and everything. And I just felt so awesome wearing this on stage. I love it. An item in here that I treasure the most is this dress by Retroforte. I wore this when my fiance proposed to me. So this will be a dress that I will keep forever and probably give to my daughter one day. Even though it was a surprise engagement, I'm so happy that I wore all white because I felt like a sparkling bride. Oh, I love this dress. This is a dress that I wore in my new Lan Bon campaign. And it's so chic, so beautiful. I got it also in black because I just love the print. This is also on all the big billboards in Paris and New York. So I was super proud just walking on the street and seeing my big billboard in this gorgeous Lan Bon dress. Oh yeah, and I love this too. This is the Lan Bon purse from the campaign as well. Just so chic. And the handle is this leopard or a panther, a cat, I don't know what it is, but it's cute. In the beginning when I started my career, I didn't have a stylist, so I literally picked out all my outfits by myself. And now to see all of the looks that I wore back in the day, everyone's wearing today, it makes me super proud just to be ahead of my time and always on trend. So many things from the Y2K fashion days are back. The things that I love are obviously things that sparkle because who doesn't like to sparkle? I love all the graphic tees. I love that like low rise jeans are coming back. The one thing I see coming back as well is Von Dutch. I loved it, but now I just think it's beyond so I wouldn't be caught dead in it. There's so many cute things. Um, oh, I love this. This is by Selkie. And I just wore this in this TikTok that I put out a couple weeks ago. I love this dress, it's just fairy-like and I love how it has like the cloud print. I also got it in pink and yellow and a bunch of other colors. So you'll probably see me rock these in more TikToks. Usually after I've been photographed in something, I don't wear it again. But actually I've worn this a lot of times. It's living and I have like hundreds of them because it's my line, so I like wearing this just to like chill around the house or go around Malibu and go shopping. Very comfy and cute. Everything in this closet screams Paris, especially just all the crystallized dresses. I just wore this when I presented at the MTV Awards. It's Philip Pline, just the sparkles, everything. And then this dress is a collab that I did with Shahida Parides and I designed it. And it says like sliving, that's hot, loves it, boss babe. I had this made for Coachella this year, which didn't happen because of the pandemic. So 
hopefully in 2022, I will be rocking this to Coachella. Of course, I need to have it steamed, but you get the point. And next, I wore this for Halloween last year, and this is a phoenix, which is like this bird thing. Those are the wings. It was really annoying to walk into the party because they were hitting everyone in the head, but it looked amazing, so whatever. And this is by Jackalope Land, and she makes like so many things for me for Burning Man, Halloween every year, I love her. And this is just a very hot outfit, I love it. Yeah. There's so many things in this closet that used to be here that I wish I could show you, but the bling ring stole so many things, so I'm so bummed. I love this too. This is from Dolls Kill and it's one of my favorite brands because they make just really fun, just raver clothes. And I wore this to the Neon Carnival during Coachella like four years ago. And it looked amazing, especially with all like the lights shining on it, just glows in the dark. It's really awesome. I have so many beautiful things in my closet I love, but some things are just special to me, even if it's not a big name brand like this. At Burning Man, I wore this two years ago. This is the style of hat that everyone wears to Burning Man. And I just love the little Tokidoki. They have the unicorns. It's all crystallized. It lights up and it's just sick. See? It's cute. It's really heavy. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for joining me on Clothes of Our Lives with Elle. And don't forget to watch Cooking with Paris on Netflix and make sure to subscribe to Elle's YouTube channel.